Hi everyone, it's Jonathan Lord again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place your webcam in a couple different ways for teaching in a couple different environments, and also how to use your laptop to screen share into Zoom, maximizing your screen space so you can see both your presentation and your students at the same time. While we work towards ceiling mounting all of our cameras, we're going to temporarily have them on tripods like this one, allowing you to position them in a variety of different ways. For example, you can position them here on the desk for a better position for dialoguing and looking at students more directly. This is a very wide angle camera, so if you would like to adjust it or zoom in, you can go down here into the search bar and type in H-U-D-D-L-Y to find the Hudley app. This will launch a small application that controls the zoom of the camera. So you can use this slider to zoom in and then use your mouse or your keyboard arrows to adjust where the image picks up. This is great for engaging more personally with your students. Another place you can position the webcam is in the front row of the student desks or tables. This will allow you to capture the entirety of the whiteboard. Uh, this is a very wide angle camera. The camera is only about six feet away from the wall right now and it is capturing the entirety of this double whiteboard. Uh, and again, if you wanna zoom in, you can do just like we did earlier and use the Hudley app to zoom in and navigate to different sections of the whiteboard that you'd like to highlight. Next, I'm gonna show you how to screen share from a second computer like your laptop. This will let you have your content like PowerPoints taking up the entire screen of your laptop and then have uh, all of your students' videos and faces taking up the other screen. First, let's hop onto the classroom computer. The first thing you want to do is open the Zoom link on the classroom computer. I have my Zoom link already associated with this calendar event, so I'm just gonna click on that to join. Since you're not logged into this computer, you will likely have to log on. So you'll get this window that says it's waiting for the host to log in. So right here at the bottom it says, if you are the host, please log in. Go ahead and click sign in with Google. And you should be able to select your APU account from there. We'll go ahead and join with computer audio. And now we are logged into the meeting as the host. I'll go ahead and enable our camera as well. Now that our classroom computer is ready to host the meeting, we're gonna hop over to our laptop to get our screen share going. Just like with the computer, we're going to click on our Zoom link again. Here again, I have it associated with this Google Calendar invite, so I'm just gonna click join the meeting. Zoom's popped up and it's let me know that we are waiting to join the room and that we need to be let in by the host. This is because Zoom only lets you be logged into one computer at a time. And since we want the classroom computer to be controlling the meeting, uh, our secondary computer or laptop is going to be logged in essentially as a guest. Now before we jump into the screen share, we'll need to turn our speakers all the way down. Otherwise, we'll get bad feedback when we jump into the Zoom meeting. Let's hop back over to the classroom computer. Now here on the classroom computer, you can see that uh, my laptop has entered the waiting room with the name Jonathan Lord. So we're gonna go ahead and admit it. While we're here, we're also gonna go to the participants tab and make the secondary Jonathan Lord a co-host. This will enable us to screen share from this computer as normal participants don't have the ability to screen share for security purposes. You can change this by going to security and allowing all participants to screen share. Just note that this will also allow all of your students to screen share as well. Now it's time to actually get our PowerPoint into the meeting. Going over to the laptop, we're gonna hit screen share. For now, we'll just share our entire screen and I'm gonna bring up a PowerPoint that I pulled up earlier. Finally, we're gonna hop back over to the main computer to make sure we can see our students. Now by default, Zoom will probably give you this view where you have a floating window pane uh, that will show you a few students. What you wanna do is click on view options, then click side-by-side -side mode. This will put your content on one side and your camera feeds on the other with an adjustable slider that you can use to move all the way over. 
This will minimize the content and maximize the amount of your screen that your students' faces take up. If you'd like more room, there are a couple things you can do. First off, you can right click on your own video screen and say hide self view. This will make it so that you don't see your own camera. I'm going to go ahead and show our self view again. The other thing you can do is right click on any participant that doesn't have video and say hide non-video participants. This will hide the profile squares of anyone who doesn't currently have their camera turned on. So now we have our computer content full screen on our laptop. We have the students' faces full screen on the computer monitor, and we have the whiteboard available in case you want to whiteboard while using your PowerPoint slides. I hope you find this video helpful as you prepare for the coming semester. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at the IMT Support Center by calling 626-815-5050, by emailing us at support at apu.edu, or checking us out on the web at support.apu.edu.